turkey and food just come together. You can't meet together and not have food and it's not just like biscuits and a cup of tea either, it has to be a full meal. seeds that you put on top, a little bit spicy. This is um, sesame seeds. So I'll get a bunch of parsley. It's called maidonot in turkey. That will be cheese and parsley bread. cook for you a Turkish um, dish called berek. So it's layers of pastry that have got like oil and yogurt and egg slathered on each um, layer and in the middle layer, it's like a bit like a lasagna I suppose, um, you have a, a filling. First of all I'm going to clean my hands with my cologne. This is something that you get when you were going into somebody's house so we had a goon which means day um, so once a month the ladies would take turns having a meal in your house um, and it'd be a time to try and outdo everybody so you'd have to have like <laughs> at least 10 different dishes and if you could do them all from scratch without any pre made things and that's better so the, we're giving you a little mental grade of how well you're going <laughs> so a little bit of competition this is bereklik so that means full berek so i'm going to do about half of this tin it's 800 grams i need about 400 grams a couple of times we went on holidays for a couple of weeks with our neighbors and that was really eye-opening um, so they'd have like a little holiday apartment with the beach and they have a big balcony. So breakfast would last for a few hours, nearly to lunchtime. Breakfast means fresh cucumbers and tomatoes and olives and a variety of cheeses and salami, fresh bread with honey and clotted cream, um, maybe some barak. Um, lots and lots of tea and you're just sitting out in the balcony and you're talking and you're eating and you're drinking lots and lots of tea and the kids are running around. Yeah, it, it just showed us a picture of their culture more. We don't get many dinner invitations in, in Australia and if we do, it's a lot simpler. Yeah, Turkish hospitality, they'll be begging you to come and then when they come, they're just so honoured to have you there. And they would never like have takeaway or something like that. That would be very shameful. So that's kind of what it looks like uncooked. And then I need to put it in the oven. The house will be perfect. So yeah, they treat you like an honoured guest, which is very nice. that went along with all our meetings and, and Barek was a kind of a simple one that we would make together and then we'll, we would eat. It just kind of signifies to me friendship. 